Recently on a lot of Spanish Catholic YouTube channels, there have been copies of this video going around, so I thought I would share the video giving a dubbing over of the Spanish putting it into an English translation about a priest who breaks down in tears during the middle of mass because of some kind of revelation that he's experienced. I thank you for your participation in this Holy Mass. Let us continue, united in prayer. There are some things that, are, that happen at times which, which can't be explained. And sometimes you need to try. What's happened is that it hurts a lot when the Lord allows us to share or see certain things. From this moment, in our parish, it's only going to be possible to receive Holy Communion on the tongue and kneeling down. It can't be any other way. Christ is alive. He is among us. And it hurts him so much. Not only when we don't receive Holy Communion, because that in itself hurts him and it's really sad for him. But also when we receive him, not even consciously aware of who we're receiving. And when we receive him, as if we were receiving any old piece of food, as if we were not really believing in his presence, he's here, he's truly alive. I've always been saying, if you receive in this way, be really careful. But people aren't doing this. Look, even a tiny particle, the most tiniest, he's there completely. For that reason, we always need to have the greatest care. And with that, the recording ends quite abruptly. But as you can see, the priest has had some kind of revelation in the post-communion period, it seems. Maybe he's been purifying the sacred vessels and he's maybe noticed lots of little particles of our Lord's blessed body left on the pattern and, and he's thinking about people's hands. And with that, he's moved to make this announcement. Perhaps uh, something supernatural has taken place. He seems to be implying that. Let's keep this priest in our prayers. Father Freddy, I believe he's known as, because he's going to have a lot of persecution. Because, unfortunately for him, the Holy Spirit may have moved in to say these things, but his bishop, Pope Francis even, may not be supportive of him. Let's pray for him that he has the resolution to follow this plan all the way through and to ensure that in his parish from now on there's only holy communion on the tongue uh, with preferably for those who are able to kneel down to receive our Lord in this way. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.